Well, I've been a fan of yours for a very long time. It is great to talk with you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, so I have actually seen all of the morning show season two, and it is what we call very good. Um, I just want to start with that. I think fans are going to love it. Um, uh, but before we get into the morning show season two and, and your great work on it, I'm curious if we could just go jump backwards for a quick second. Uh, I read that when you back a long time ago, you did some homicide and you were offered a an extended role on homicide, but you elected to go with ER instead of doing homicide. And I'm just curious, how scared were you when you made that decision that you made the wrong decision? Oh, that's a great question. Thanks for asking it. Um, I actually write about that in the memoir I just uh, that just came out that I wrote because uh, it was one of the. It was like playing Russian roulette. You know, you didn't. I didn't know if I was making the biggest mistake of my life, <laughs> but um, it was one of those things where I got lucky because I called Tom Fontana, who had offered me the role on Homicide, and I said, I I don't don't know how I can turn this down when I'm unemployed, but I might, George Clooney told me I might live on ER. What, what, what should I do? And he said, go with ER. There'll always be a role for you here. So he made that decision much easier for me. Um, and I, and we've remained good friends ever since. <laughs> uh, yes. That, that's one of those life changing moments. I'm yeah. very happy. I'm very happy it worked out. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, so, uh, I am curious, with the morning show, how much did they tell you about uh, uh, your character's arc when you signed on? And how much is it sort of like, oh, the season one's really good. Uh, I'd, I'd be, you know, be lucky to join the show. I definitely felt um, the second that the call came in that they wanted me on the show, I thought, oh, I need to know who this character is. But pretty much without even seeing who the character was, I wanted to join the show because I was a fan of the show. Um, I, I, I was the act, the caliber of acting and the writing, um, just the whole production value. I just thought that I want to be a part of, um, it also was really enticing for me to join a show that was already a well-oiled machine where I wouldn't have to carry it. I could just play, which is a rare moment for me. And especially when we were sitting in the middle of a pandemic, which was really frightening, um, just the idea of working again felt so good. So uh, then Carrie Aaron uh, sent me an outline of who Laura Peterson is. Um, it wasn't so much as the arc of her story, where it was going. What I loved was she gave me a 20 year history up until when we meet her, which I thought was really extraordinary. And for an actor who gets to build a character from scratch, it gave me so much to work with. So knowing her history and knowing who she was and what she went through when you meet her, I really didn't need to know much about where she was going. Um, they gave me a few things, a few little tidbits. Um, and I actually am one of the only people I think, I haven't seen it yet, I haven't seen any of it. So I don't know what stayed in or what was edited out, um, but hopefully I'll, I'll be watching it soon. But one of the things I loved about who Laura is to the other characters on the show is I felt like she was sort of this calm presence in the midst of this crazy storm of chaos where every character is going through this incredible identity crisis, but she's been there, done that. She knows who she is. So it was sort of, I felt like I was coming in more as a pillar of strength for um, the crazy that was going on. And it was a really uh, interesting sort of way to come into a character, just knowing their backstory, but not quite knowing where she was going with it. I knew a few little things, but not not everything. I totally agree with what you're saying. She is the only person who really has her shit together. Yeah. You know, like completely knows who she is. It's comfortable in her skin and and uh, and you play it so well. Um, I, I am. So you get to work with Mimi again after all these, you know, it's been a while. Can you sort of talk about what it was like working with her again after ER so many years ago? Well, so here's the sad, the sad thing is that I never, <laughs> I never got her as my director. I did six episodes start, I did uh, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. And she directed 
uh, seven and 10 and one. <laughs> so I never worked with her. However, she was there the first day I got there and she can, you know, we, we all work together on what the character should look like and um, how the character, sh you know, should be introduced into the show. And I have to say, um, you know, the first day when you're starting on a show that's already established, it can be a little nerve wracking. And I got home that night and she said, I just want you to know we're watching dailies and spot on. So just knowing that she had my back and was there um, as moral support was enough for me. And it was like coming home because aside from Mimi Leader, um, Leslie Linka Gladder, who directed episode three, was also a director I'd worked with on ER and The Good Wife. And she and I have been producing something together for years that hasn't gotten off the ground yet. It will. Um, so, so I felt a familiarity with, with, with them as well as Jen, who we started out together on Thursday night lineup, you know, must see TV. We were on the same lot. We were uh, right next door to each other. And we came out of the gate the exact same time and we knew each other. And Reese, I had known on and off. We had shared the same uh, agent for a while. I, I knew her a little bit from, from um, events we had been at. And I it just felt like sort of coming home into this very embracing, uh, welcome when I got here. When I say here, LA, because I live in New York and I'm in LA now. I understand. You have some <laughs> great scenes with Reese. Yeah. Um, and uh, I don't want to get into any, too many specifics, but I'm just curious if you could talk a little bit about working with her and, you know, the importance of portraying what is in the show, honestly. So, you know, there's an ease to Reese. Uh, Above and beyond anything, Reese is so professional. Um, and I really understand and appreciate what it means to be at the top of a call sheet and to also be producing that show that you're starring in, right? So I had seven years experience of that. And she right away, um, when I got to when I got to LA said, I'm so excited you're doing this. Is there anything you want to talk about? Right away opened up the gates for me to be able to get in there and not worry about anything. And the truth is, she's just a lot of fun to work with on top of being talented. So um, it was light and easy and felt very natural. There was nothing we did where either of us felt uncomfortable ever. Um, I, it never even dawned on me that I might feel uncomfortable when I was in her presence. So. It was really just about the work and we had a ball together. It was, um, it felt very seamless. Like I just, I went in in the and it, it just, I blended in with everyone and I never felt like I was an outsider. And that was really, um, I always feel you do your best work when you feel safe um, in a working environment, which is why the crew is always so important to me. I want, I want everyone to be happy on a set. And I could see that Reese, treated her crew and and her cast the same way I did. And that that gave me a tremendous amount of solace. So I I really felt um, embraced and lucky. Thank you so much for your time. Seriously, great work this season. I think you'll like it when you see it. Thank you. Have a good cool. day. Thank you.